folks welcome back uh, right we've got another very easy tie for you we're rattling through these at the moment so uh, another classic um, small and big water pattern um, that catches well everywhere it's the uh, cat's whisker um, ah, been around for donkey's years this one and it's just a lovely white lure um, good for fry feeders good for just any trout that swims really especially in clear water love it Brilliant flying chick, we're a brilliant fly most like around the country, everywhere you go. So um, the hook in here is a size uh, 10 uh, Fasner uh, 310, this one is, nymph hook. Um, the thread I'm going to be using for this is a UTC 140 in white. So let's just crack on and get this done in here. Uh, folks, if you're enjoying the videos and you like what you see, please um, click like, click subscribe and uh, you'll get notified of new videos when they come through it's all free doesn't cost you anything um eyes for this I've just got bead chain eyes I've just snipped off a bead chain eye here um i don't know the exact size of them just a standard probably i don't know 2.5 mil something like that and i'm just gonna fix it in there and then just using figure of eight turns just, just turn eight turns all the way around that's just going to fix it in nice and tight. Lovely. Like so. Right. Um, most of this fly is made up of one material, and that's white marabou. It gives it this lovely mobility and uh, gives it this real appeal. So, taking your marabou, just take a reasonable pinch off the tail. This is going to be your tail, so I'm just going to offer that up there. Nice pinch. Strip it off. Just trim up these. Uh, silly bits at the end there make it easier if we get lays on the hook pop it in wait and just bring that all the way down the back of the fly smash him now we're not going to trim anything up we're not going to uh trim the tail or anything up to it but the wing in so we can get a nice equal length but just by working that down that's lovely and secure in the fly now that as it is would work really well just to fly like that mostly fish aren't that fussy um, the body for this is a uh, is green. It's the classic green, uh, white and green. Um, this is a uh, little UV crystal hackle that I like using for the uh, cat's whiskers. Um, it's um, yeah, I think it's intense lime. I think is another colour. It's just the right colour from to my mind. So just trap that in at the back of the hook there, right at the tail. Bring your thread up to just behind the eyes, and we're just going to wind this up the hook. Nice touching turns all the way up it's not too big it doesn't mask the hook but it just does the job of giving that lovely green flash through like so now just give yourself a little bit of room up here all right because we're going to put a wing in this so don't put it too tight to it and you give yourself a little bit of room there and just catch that in and trim off simple just like that okay and as mentioned, you want to put an overwing in here now. So it's going to go over the top of the fly. So again, with our white marabou, you're going to take yourself a little pinch of the white marabou, wherever you think you want for your wing. Something like that should be sufficient. Just give that a nice little pinch off. And trim it down. Just trim off the rubbish off the ends there again. It's nice and even. I'm just going to catch that in behind the eye. Offer it up to the hook and then just get a couple of turns over the top of it. Lovely. Just like that. That's perfect. Figure right over the top of that hook. Just right. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of flash in with this one. So I'm going to take a little bit of pearl mylar. What we'll first thing we'll do, because I don't want to um, pull out the pearl mylar, we're just going to make these all equal lengths now. Okay, so we're not going to cut them with the scissors. We're just going to draw them back so they're nice on the top of each other so they're nice together depending on how long you want this fly and then we're gonna that'll do me we're coming with right hand there and pinch and then with your left hand you're just gonna there that's it done that's a nice equal length now all the way over the fly that looks right the tail isn't longer than the wing and that'll sit right when that gets wet that will fish right in the water so with a little strand of pearl mylar here i've got some pearl mylar some my favourite good old Christmas decorations. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to fold it over twice. Like so. And then when you've got the bit folded over, 
I'm just going to catch it in. Just like that. Tie it in, just pull it back both sides. Tie that in. Great. That's fine. That'll do, mate. And then I'm going to finish this before I try and trim anything off. So just bring that up in front of the eye again. And with a bit of finishing tool, just finish that in front of the eye. Nicely done. And then we're going to trim these bits down to the length. So just hold them straight. And then come in with your scissors and just cut them at a nice angle there. So it's the same length there. And the same on my side here. Bring it around and then just trim them off to the same length there. And I just add a little bit of extra added flash to that fly as it goes through the water. Um, very, very easy to tie. Lovely point fly that is with a couple of nymphs behind it. Um, just fished singly and fish two at a time. Deadly. Deadly, deadly, deadly they are. Uh, great top winter pattern. And a lot of people go to fly, you know, part of it the year, year round, especially on small lakes. Um, I love them. A little bit of varnish in there. Just to finish that head off and just to secure everything in there. Those big chain eyes don't offer a lot of weight, but they do just enough to make that pattern sink a little bit. You give you that lovely sink and draw action when you're fishing these. Um, but not too much so that you can actually fish them quite slowly without them hitting the bottom. But yeah, I wouldn't be without these in my winter box anywhere I go. Little cat's whisker. One of the best searching flies out there that there is. Hope you enjoyed that, folks. Uh, please click like, click subscribe. Leave any comments down below. Anything you'd like to see me tying up, just ask me and I'll do what I can. I've got a bit of time on my hands again at the moment. So uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.